in this video lecture, we're going to focus on the light, especially the forms of linear equations. Now, before, when we talked about the previous concept of analytic geometry, the distance formula, midpoint formula, um, division of a line, segment, slope, and all of that, nakafocus yun sa point, which is one of the undefined terms in geometry. If we recall, in geometry, geometry, there are actually three undefined terms. Three undefined terms. You have your point, your line, and your plane. So, um, they're undefined because we do not really know what they are. Ang alam lang natin, kaya natin i-describe yun. Uh, pero natin alam ko ano yun. Natin alam kung gano'ng kalaki yung kalait. We just know how to describe it. For example, in analytic geometry, we tend to describe point, a location, using two numbers in as an ordered pair, rather. So, yun yung description natin sa point. Namalay ba natin kung anong itsura talaga, kung ano talaga yung point na yan. So, that's what we've been doing so far. We've been focusing on how, on concepts rather, analytic geometry that focuses on one of the undefined terms, which is a point. Now, let's now go to a set of points. Kasi point yung pinaka-basic. Let's now go to a set of points that extends indefinitely in both directions, which is a line. So, again, when we say a line, it's a set of points that extends indefinitely in opposite directions. Now, usually, one of the, uh, not usually, but one of the main postulates in geometry is that two points determine a line. Two points are enough to determine that's the other set of points. So, malamang sa malamang, dun tayo i-equal. Now, let's now focus first on the different ways we can express algebraically a line through the means of a linear equation. So, first, the equation of every straight line, the one that we're going to look into, is expressible in terms of the first degree, which means walang x squared, walang y cubed, lahat first degree lang, exponent of 1. Conversely, the graph of a first degree equation is a straight line. So, that means that the graph of a first degree equation would be a straight line. Paano natin kukunin yun? So, since we've been working a Cartesian plane, let's construct a Cartesian plane here. Okay. So, we say that two points determine a line. Let's say I have a line here. There you go. Let's say this is line L. Kasi ganyan magning sa geometry, line L. Now, since we know from geometry that two points determine a line, let's get any random, kasi syempre kailangan general yung equation, let's get any random point here, let's say this one, with coordinates x, y. And, I'm going to be very specific now, pumili ng isa pang point, eto. Etong point na to. This point here that I selected, eto, is what we call the y-intercept. Yeah. Why is it called the y-intercept? Because it's the point that the line touches on the y-axis. Ito y-axis to, di ba? Y-axis, x-axis. So that means that this point that this line touches is what we call the y-intercept. Meron din yan dito, pero mamayon na i-label yun. So itong y-intercept na to, this is the point where this line touches the y-axis. And bakit important yan? Kasi automatically, whichever uh, point this may be, ang isang, ang isang coordinate yan is sure that its abscissa would be 0. And that its coordinate would be any number b. Kasi dahil, wa, dahil yan ay point sa y-axis, automatic lahat ng abscissa ng andito ay 0. And this can be any number. So, we say two points determine a line. And if you recall, one of those concepts that we studied about points, na medyo connected sa line, not line segment, 
but a line is a slope. If you recall, the definition of a slope says that to, the formula rather to find the slope of a line would be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The differences of the ordinates over the differences of the abscissas. So if we're going to apply it here, hahanapin natin ng slope nito. Therefore, we get that the slope m would be equal to uh, y minus b, that's y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over x minus 0, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And we know that this will be m is equal to y minus b over x, since x minus 0 equals x. Then we cross multiply, therefore we're going to have mx is equal to y minus b. Then we transpose this, therefore we get the form of the equation as y is equal to mx plus b. Ito kasi ang isa sa mga pinakakilalang itsura or form ng linear equation which is the slope-intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. Especially when you go to higher methods such as calculus, kapag functions ang usapan, naka-slope-intercept form ang ating line na y is equal to mx plus b. Where m is our slope, m is our slope, and b is the, is the uh, ordinate of our y-intercept. Usually, pag ako, sinushorten ko lang na y-int for y-intercept. Yan. So, yan ang isang form ng linear equation. Madami-dami pang form ng linear equation. Ayan. So, Apart from the slope-intercept form y is equal to mx plus b, you can also write the equation of a line if you're given two forms following this formula or this form of linear equation. So, pag two points yung binigay at yung isa ay hindi y-intercept, ito ang gagamitin natin. Dito kayo mag-uumpisa. y and x are variables. The ones that are numbers or constants would be y sub 1, x sub 1, y sub 2, x sub 1. Now, yun ay, yun ay kapag two points ang given. The coordinates of two points are given. If you're given with a point, x sub 1, y sub 1, uh, sulat natin. Hindi ito sa isa, ang given ay x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Pag ang given naman ay slope, and one point, x sub 1, y sub 1, you can use the point slope form. Where it, instead of having this, which is the, what do you call this, the uh, expanded form of the formula for slope, it did the actual value of slope. So that's y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. That is the point slope form. Now, if you are given with two points and they happen to be the intercepts of your line, then you can use the intercept form. Although, it's only applicable to oblique lines. When we say oblique, yung nakaslan. Hindi vertical, hindi horizontal. We mentioned already a while ago, what is the y-intercept? Ito yon. This is the y-intercept, the point where the line touches the y-axis. Meron pang isa. Ito naman, kumalitin ng kulay. This one here is what we call the x-intercept. It's the point where the line touches the x-axis. And sure tayo na ito, kung ano man ito, usually has the, the coordinates a, 0. Kasi palaging 0 ang y coor ang up-coordinate or y-coordinate nito. A, although dito mukhang it's negative, A can be positive or negative in general. So, kapag ganito ang given, a number comma 0 and 0 comma another number, although you can use two-point form, pwede kayong dumerecho sa intercept form. If you're given with A0 and 0B, pwede eh, dumerecho kayo dyan. Now, most if not all the time, most if not all the time, although you will use this as our starting point, we will be asked to either give the answer in slope-intercept form, 
or in standard form, ax plus by equals c, or in general form, ax plus by plus equals zero. Take note, in some books, ang tawag ito ang standard formula. So, but for our uh, for our class, when we say standard form, ax plus by equals c. When we say general form, ax plus by plus c equals zero. So, let's have some examples regarding forms of linear equations. So, for the first part, we are asked to sketch the line and find this equation in standard and general form with the given conditions. So, syempre, kailangan marunong tayo paano mag-sketch ng line. Hindi lang basta, you know, give the equation of the line. So, let's work with number one. We are asked to sketch the line and find its equation both in standard and in general form. So, ito yung given na condition. We are told that the line passes through point A. The line passes through point A with coordinates negative 3, 8, and B with coordinates 2, negative 6. So, we are given with two points, which would mean, if you're going to look at the previous, ang pwede mong gamitin ay either 2.4, kasi nga, 2 points, or intercept point, kasi 2 point din yan. Yun nga lang, if you're going to go back, hindi naman to intercept kasi the one of the coordinates is not 0. So, therefore, the appropriate form to start with para masulat natin sa in standard and general form would be 2.4. 2.4. Point which I'm going to write as PPF para mas maglili. So, again, the 2.4 is given by y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Tapos, from this form, mula dito sa form na to, tsaka naman natin siya i -re -re write algebraically para maging standard and general form. So, you can assign any point here to be your x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Basta alam natin. So, in this specific case, para lang in order, I'm going to let this as x sub 1 and this is y sub 1. Ito ang x sub 2, ito ang y sub 2. Hindi pwede na x sub 1, x sub 2 ha. x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, following that, we can then write the equation as y. Minus 8, kasi y sub 1, is equal to y sub 2, that's negative 6, minus 8, that's y sub 1, all over 2, that's x sub 2, minus negative 3, that's x sub 1, times x minus negative 2. So, ito na yung 2.4. Ito na yun mismo. This is already t 2.4 of the equation. Isusulat na lang natin siya into standard form and general form. And we do that by, well, simplifying this. Therefore, I'm going to have y minus 8 is equal to negative 6 minus 8, that's negative 14, all over 2 minus negative 3, that is 5, times x plus 2. Yeah. So from here, we can now perform algebraic manipulations para uh, simplify. You can distribute this, pero ako, since this entire fraction is multiplied to this expression, pwede ko to i-cross multiply. Mas madali kasi sa akin, mag-distribute pag negative 14 lang, kesa sa naka-fraction. Alright, so now, let's cross multiply the 5. So, I'm going to have 5 times y minus 8 is equal to negative 14 times x plus 2. So, distributing here on the left side and on the right side, I'm going to have 5y minus 40 is equal to negative 14x minus 28. Then, ang standard form, uh, sulat natin dito, our standard form is ax plus py equals c. 
So therefore, let's and usually, by the way, convention is convention A is positive almost all the time. Pwede na lang negative yan. Pero the convention is we make A positive. So, uh, uh, A is the coefficient of X. So therefore, ito, transpose natin to dito, ito dito sa kanila. So that I'm going to have 14X plus 5Y is equal to 40 minus 28. Therefore, we're going to have the equation 14x plus 5y is equal to, ah, sorry, I think I made a mistake here. Mukhang dapat pala hindi negative, dapat pala negative. Let's correct that. So, since this is supposed to be negative 3, ito dapat ay magiging plus 3. And I'm showing you the correction para maaral niyo din. It's 3. So, therefore, this should be plus 3. And if it is plus 3, then therefore, this becomes negative 14 times 3, which is negative 42. So, this becomes negative 42 minus 42. So, therefore, when I transpose, this would become that 40 minus 28, but this should become negative 42 plus 40. Hence, we're going to have 14x plus 5y equals negative. So, again, ulitin ko lang kanina in the previous part of the video, this was minus 2, which was a mistake. So, kinorek natin yan. So, there. So, this is the standard form. In general form, yung general form, general form, that's simply ax plus dy plus c equals 0. Technically, yung c, transpose mo lang, general form na. So, this is the one in standard form. Ta transpose mo to get the general form. That's 14x plus 5y plus 2 equals 0. Therefore, the equation of the line that passes to a, negative 3, 8, and b, 2, negative 6, in standard form, standard form would be, 14x plus 5y equals negative 2. In general form, that would be 14x plus 5y plus 2 equals 0. Now, how do we draw or sketch the line of this? You can actually use the given to sketch the line. So, hold on. Although, pakaliwa siya sa conventional. So, let's draw our Cartesian plane here. Okay. So, let's find first negative 3. That's 1, 2, 3. That's negative 3, that's 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is actually where A is at negative 3, 8. Then, B is at 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here you go. This is B at 2, negative 6. Two points determine a line. So all you need to do is actually sketch a line from this point to this point. There you go. So this is the graph of the equation. This is the graph of the equation 14x plus 5y equals negative 2 in standard form. In general form, that's 14x plus 5y plus 2. So look at 14x plus 5y plus 2 equals 0. So uh, we're going to continue num the other numbers. Uh, those are numbers 2, 3, 4 in the next uh, video.